two. Once Floyd figured it out, um, ball game, the guy can't punch. He only throws arm punches. He doesn't know how to translate his weight on his shots in boxing. There was literally nothing on those shots. You know, of course, he was sitting right on the apron. Um, he said the, the sharp little movements won him a couple rounds. Weird movement, but he doesn't know how to punch hard in boxing. couple decent body shots, a couple of uppercuts, but overall a lot of tippity tap shots, but he was scoring. Right. Um, I, I think there's two reasons for that. Um, first of all, Pauly got hit. I saw him get hit with a nice left hand at one point, so I think he <laughs> felt the power. But in regards to the fight against Mayweather, um, yeah, I, I think he's right. I, I mean, I don't care how good of a mixed martial arts fighter you are. A professional, I'll take a professional boxer's power over a mixed martial arts fighter uh, any day of the week, especially at the elite level of, of a Mayweather or, or a world championship level. It's just, it's completely different. It's totally different. You overcommit on your strikes, so you're shifting your weight all the way into a shot. You're getting taken down immediately in mixed martial arts. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, it's a completely different style of striking, and that's what I was talking about. You can't transition from being used to throwing uh, your strikes in a mixed martial arts arena to all of a sudden transition to throwing in the boxing ring. Um, right. Again, a lot of times you turn your hip over, you you generate that same kind of power, a, a mixed martial arts fighter is going to duck under and, and just double leg you, right? So it's a completely right. different type of style of striking uh, that Connor just didn't quite adjust to. Also, again, this is his first professional boxing match. And Connor, by the way, very honest in his own assessment uh, of his skills and how he did in that fight against Floyd. And you can see this is exactly why Connor is such a great fighter. Uh, he is very honest in his assessment. Um, but uh, it, it was just, it was completely different. He, he knew that in sparring, he was getting tired after the sixth round. So he yeah. knew he needed to conserve energy. He's not going to go out there in his first professional boxing match and try to take Floyd's head off. Because he knew that if he didn't land the shots, because Floyd, obviously a tremendous defensive fighter, uh, if he was missing shots, he's going to get tired. If he was, you know, throwing him out the glove of Floyd Mayweather, he was going to get tired and then would just lose based on his own conditioning and Floyd would just pick him apart anyway. So he was trying to give himself the opportunity to go the distance against someone like Floyd. That's why he wasn't putting uh, so... so so much into his punches early on. Um, so I think he was a little extra careful. And again, this is his first professional boxing match. That's why. I mean, it's pretty simple. Yeah. So in terms of Conor McGregor and the cardio and, and gassing, and again, I, I thought he, he tried to manage it as best he could, obviously, but it did abandon him again. And Malinaji did say in this interview, you know, he's not the gut, gutsiest guy in the world, while also giving him his credit at times for his heart. So I, in terms of like the Diaz brothers or Tony Ferguson, Kenny, in a boxing setting, right, guys who you would probably put your money on to to be fresh in the latter rounds, not necessarily against the greatest of all time. But, I mean, does this give you pause backing Connor going forward in MMA? Like, what do you make of the whole cardio equation? Because this has now reared its head for McGregor more than once. Again, this is a completely different arena for Connor. Um it's a, a totally different event, just being able to throw punches and, and just being in there, again, against the best boxer of our generation is a totally different deal. You know what I think is going to happen for Conor in mixed martial arts? I think he's going to be an absolute beast. I think yeah, he's going right, to be right. that much better. Who has experienced the magnitude of this kind of fight in mixed martial arts? You tell me that. Who has been able to deal with anything that Connor has thrown at them as far as uh, being in big fights, they, they all crumble. They all crumble with, besides Nate Diaz is the only one who had the mental fortitude and strength yeah. to stay present, to stay in there and have the guts to fight Connor at his own game. That's the only guy who can do it. And that's the only guy I think that's going to give him that kind of fight on the feet. But now being in there with someone like Floyd Mayweather skill wise, Connor is going to take it to a completely other level. And let me go back to what he said after the fight. He was very honest as an assessment in how he said, listen, I need to be better in tight. When Floyd was putting his head on my chest, I wasn't able to really hit him with clean shots. That's where I need to improve. This is a guy who stays so present and is very honest yeah. in that assessment. That's why he's such a phenomenal mixed martial artist. That's why he's such a superstar in this sport. Say what you will about how he hypes fights and all that stuff. But as far as how he approaches the game, 
Conor McGregor is one of the best martial artists that I've ever seen, period. And that's why coming away from competing oh, against a professional yeah. boxing match against Floyd Mayweather, are you kidding me? He's going to be an absolute savage on the feet <laughs> in his next fight. No, I agree. And, and you're right, dude. And well put. That post-fight interview with Jim Gray certainly showed you his intellect, his IQ, his competitiveness, yes. and just how badly he wanted to win, Kenny, right? Yes. And maybe he'll go back and watch the fight and think he got less done than he did on fight night, but right. he seemed pretty satisfied with what he was able to accomplish early. I thought the fight was more competitive than you did, and I would defer to you. So mm. having had this conversation, maybe competitive isn't the right word. I want to read you a tweet from uh, from Ian Kidd, Bloody Elbow. Uh, he wrote, it's okay to say McGregor done far better than a novice should slash would and that Mayweather won comfortably guys right and I mentioned off the top of the show everybody seems to have a very strong opinion relative to maybe how they thought going into the fight um and I don't love the word novice and he put it in quotes but do you think that's okay that he he overperformed uh but the outcome was never in question and Mayweather was dominant Yes, but I think a lot of people are glossing over this fact. I, I, again, and, and I know I already see the quote. I already see the quote, John. Kenny Florian says Floyd Mayweather uh, was not even trying early in the fight. That's the quote. Right. I already know. Yeah. But again, Floyd Mayweather wasn't trying early in the fight. He was extending. He was, he was extending the fight. That's not how Floyd Mayweather fights, okay? I think anyone who sees that knows that. Floyd isn't going to give free punches to a experienced professional boxer like that. He just isn't. Imagine if he went out there and just knocked him out in the first round. You know what I mean? Or, or early in the fight. He wanted to give people their money's worth. That That's just what I think. And I think it's hard as a fighter going in there and going, listen, I, I did really good out there, but I know when a fighter isn't giving it his all or isn't fighting uh, with that sixth gear in place. And Floyd wasn't even close. I don't even know if he got to the sixth gear in that fight. I mean, maybe at the end a little bit where he started turning it on. And once he start, started throwing body shots with, uh, you know, w w with some power, you could see the fight was just completely different. It was really eating up Connor. That's another reason why Connor was getting tired. Those body shots, man, were brutal. Uh, he was placing them in perfectly. Uh, and, and again, I think this was a case of Floyd Mayweather really trying to give fans their, their, their money in, in this fight. Hey, why are you trying to shit all over my clickbait company? <laughs> Why was that? Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking those headlines. Man. Ah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I'm telling you, man. That's good. I already so see it. I don't necessarily want to talk about McGregor's boxing future because I'm so excited now to close this chapter and see what he can do uh, yeah. against these elite UFC lightweights, Tony Ferguson, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Kevin Lee, and the rest. Uh, but I have to at least ask the question as I see the New York Times posts on Instagram oh, that man. Joe Rogan brought attention to. McGregor's face was completely bloodied. He was about to fall through the ropes, and the referee stopped the fight. So three statements there. One of them is true. The referee stopped the fight. Uh, face not completely bloodied. Uh, he was not about to fall through the ropes. He did, on paper, go 10 rounds with Floyd Mayweather. Um, and he did seem, Kenny, excited at the possibility of improving himself as a boxer. Right. Um, do you think we see Conor McGregor uh, inside the ropes at some point in the next year or so. Let me talk about the New York Times first. Okay. Uh, did they just <laughs> turn into Twitter? What the hell's going on? Like, who is this person that, that posted Ugh. that? It was all bloodied? What? <laughs> New York Times, you've been around a long time. Whoever that dude is, fire him. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Number two... Um, in, in uh, what were we talking about? How do you know about? it was a guy? Might yeah, have been a girl. Uh, that's true. It could have been a girl. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, what the heck were we talking about? What was the second point about something about Connor? What were you talking about? I, need I to... was talking about a lot of different stuff when related <laughs> to Connor McGregor. There was you can something take it else you, you want. There was uh, something else you said. I was well. I was talking about his his boxing future. And oh yeah, no, no, I, I do not. That's it. That's it. Yeah, no, I do not want to see him uh, fighting boxing again. I, I don't. This was a a, a, a one off for me. I, I think that this was an amazing opportunity for Conor McGregor to make a huge payday, um, to elevate his status as a martial artist, as a fighter, as a celebrity, um, but. I do not think he should do boxing again. Um, there's going to be a lot of people who want to fight him, and the temptations will be great, and the paydays will be huge. However, Connor, you are a mixed martial artist. 
one of the best of our generation. Go and be Floyd in mixed martial arts. Go and complete that destiny. Don't go back into boxing. Uh, I know the temptations are there. You have enough money for a few lifetimes now. You're set, man. You're, you could still make a ton of money. I wouldn't be surprised if the UFC offers them a percentage of the company uh, in order to to get them to come back and, and complete uh, this yeah. trilogy against Nate Diaz and maybe fight George St. Pierre down the line. There's huge fights there. And for anyone who thinks that Connor's making these, you know, several hundred thousand dollar paydays, uh, you are badly mistaken, my friend. This guy has made millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, e- even before he was, <laughs> even before he was the champ, uh, Connor is getting paid very, very well. Um, you know, is he going to see a hundred million dollar payday in the UFC? Eh, probably not. Uh, maybe not even close. But he will make millions. That's what he does best. Stick to that, Connor. Please, we need you. The sport needs you. That's what you do best. Um, and you can go and be the Floyd of mixed martial arts. Well, and Flo, we've been saying on these airwaves for months, if, if 30 million is his number to come back to the UFC, right. uh, you know, they're going to make his next pay-per-view is going to be massive and he'll be worth, uh, whatever number is on that, that contract. Now, in terms of Connor as a representative of mixed martial arts in this setting, and not that he was a reluctant rep, right? But this is more about him, I think, than him trying to, make this huge statement on behalf of a sport, but you can't help but be happy for him uh, and proud of what he was able to do, Kenny, because I do think that he proved something, not necessarily um, for UFC versus boxing, but I think he proved what an elite mixed martial arts athlete can do in you know, the highest profile combat sports setting of all time. Especially given, again, um, there's no way Floyd would go longer than... 120 seconds uh, in a mixed martial arts contest. There's just there, there's no way. Con, con, we all know what Connor was, would would do to him. I mean, he has so many more weapons. Again, it's just two guys in complete in two completely different sports. And Connor had the balls to go out and fight in boxing, and no one else besides James Tony really has had the balls to compete in mixed martial arts. And um, I, I think we we need to understand that. And, and again, you know, it's nuts that people get so emotional and pissed off at Connor for everything. It's like, he's promoting the fight. Mayweather's promoting the fight with all the things that they said. That you, you think people were out there that they landed the punches against Connor McGregor. Well, a lot of these celebrities, Rappaport huh. and Snoop Dogg. And again, it's a, again, maybe I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, but like, Snoop Dogg, you call UFC fights and you disrespect the fighters. What are you doing? Yeah. What the yeah, hell are was... you doing? You would never take any shot in your life against one of these dudes. Don't act like you landed a shot in the fight against McGregor. Okay? You didn't yeah. do one ounce of training or throw one strike during that fight. Shut up. Rappaport, yeah. the same. Shut up. 50 Cent. Oh. All these guys. Like, dude, you're not a fighter. You can act like a fighter, and you can think you're tough, but you're not. Yeah. And whether it's alcohol-induced or otherwise, I agree. And it took Snoop till the end of that video to finally give Conor McGregor anything resembling a prop. Um, John Donaher, Ken Flo, mixed martial arts genius, or, or certainly a Brazilian jiu-jitsu genius. You've spent a lot of time with the guy. I just want to read a couple quotes from an Instagram post of his. Uh, the thing he capitalized, Kenny, elite MMA athletes are considerably – better equipped to handle a boxer's game than boxers are to handle an MMA fighter's game. I mean, that is something that we have known for for a long time. Um, I just want to read this final thing. Um, Yeah, so McGregor showed that the endless criticism of MMA and standing striking over the years is grossly exaggerated, right? That was sort of the the thesis statement. Uh, Mm -hmm. At elite levels, they are highly competent and can provide a good match for a time with even the best boxers in the boxer's domain. The daring Irishman may have lost a bout, but he won the cultural war between boxing and MMA and showed clearly that he can do far better in their domain than they, than they can in his for the courage, self-belief, and skill it took him for, took for him to do that. If I can get through it, uh, he can always count me as a fan. Absolutely. I mean, beautifully said, uh, John Danaher is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu genius. Um, so knowledgeable, been around the sport for a long time, very knowledgeable when it comes to mixed martial arts and boxing, by the way, as well. Um, and yeah, I, I mean, that that's absolutely accurate. Uh, again, there, there's not a boxer out there 
um, who, who would try to come into the UFC and, and do what Connor did in their domain, it, and not with that high profile. I know Anthony Joshua has said something, but even him, Anthony Joshua said, yeah, I would fight mixed martial arts, but I would probably get my ass kicked. That's a guy who's realistic in his approach. He understands. It right. takes so many years to even understand the mixed martial arts game. Okay? So, um, again, people just get way too excited over this. Yeah, and I think I'm one of them. So, all right, so before you look for a new podcast co-host, <laughs> uh, I will ask you this final question. Uh, so, because we're going to talk so much about McGregor and mixed martial arts, and again, I, I mean, you and I are both praying, right, that this is the end of the boxing chapter, but I, I'm yeah. going to ask the question, and call me crazy to like him uh, to beat Pauli Malignaggi. I'm crazy, okay? I'm just mm -hmm. your, your public square, okay? Guilty as charged, right? <laughs> But I'm saying against a retired fighter, Kenny, okay, someone like Pauli Malignaggi who has stepped away from the game. Yeah. I'm not asking him to fight Canelo Alvarez, okay, fighting a – because Conor talked about these boxing improvements, you mean to tell me that Conor McGregor is not going to want to challenge himself in the boxing realm ever again? I mean – I mean, he might, and that's the problem. Is this fight? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Pauli Malignaggi. These guys have a history. The fight is basically already—it's already been right. hyped. It's already been made in a lot of ways. Uh, <laughs> and I, I mean, are you, are you telling me Connor isn't going to make about forty million at least to fight Pauli Malignaggi in a boxing fight <laughs> promoted by Mayweather Promotions, <laughs> right? Oh. Man. I mean, it, it's like the story is already written here, which is unfortunate. I hope it doesn't happen. Um, you know, here we are talking about it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, that's a fight that a lot of people would want to see, and that would be Paul Mal Pauli Malignaggi's biggest fight to date. Again, again, against another mixed martial arts fighter. But one thing I don't want to see, you know what I don't want to see, is Conor go in there against a Pauli Malignaggi or anyone in boxing, and you know what you're going to see as his record? 0-1. Don't do it, Connor. Don't do it. That is not your sport. You are you are tougher than a lot of other pro boxers in that sport, perhaps. Um, but you're not at a championship level. You are one of the greatest mixed martial arts fighters. Stick to what you do best and continue to build uh, what is going to be one of the biggest legacies or the biggest legacy in the UFC. And it's going to be.